Welcome to the Download Easy yeah. Web Show, episode 274. Doug Fields here with my friend who's been at all 274, all right except here. for the ones he's missed, Josh Griffin. <laughs> the newest member of the web show is Jason Supertones Carson. Yeah, yes. how's it going? And the queen of all replacements, who really is first in our hearts, especially when Katie's not here, is Jessica Sanchez, one of the greatest youth workers in the history of youth ministry. Absolutely. And the greatest in this yeah. room. Uh, without a doubt. She's yeah. great. She's a great. above. Absolutely. Yeah. The only reason Josh keeps his job. Um, and if you're new, <laughs> I wish, no I, comma, just, well, just thing, I wish it was a joke. I wish that it'd be like, Haha. no, it's dead serious. Don't ever leave. Yeah. No joke. Hey, if you are dead. new to the Download Youth Ministry web show, welcome. <laughs> We've been told by our web show consulting firm of McBurney McBurney <laughs> that there, we have too much insider language. So um, now we're trying to help people understand a little bit more about the show. It's been going on for six years, so there is some insider language, but people yeah. might just be tuning on. Yeah. We talk about youth ministry questions. We are sponsored. Our primary sponsor yes. is Orange, and uh, Orange Conference is going to be here in Southern California in September. Yeah, it's going to be a two-day conference. The only time they're doing a two-day yeah, conference. Yeah, the Orange One Day is an Orange Two Day. Here, I with like us. It. Yeah. Yeah. That's why Southern California is the best. Uh-huh. Southern California is a little slower. So or they two days or ahead of the curve. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, and uh, also the kings and queens of the XP3 curriculum, which is excellent and oh, excellent. Yeah. We're also very grateful to our sponsors, um, Leader Tracks, Leader Tracks, who we love, love dearly, who we're yeah. just with in our student leadership conference. Uh, YM360, who we've got some. We'll talk about all of these guys yeah, throughout sure. the uh, the deal. And um, APU, Azusa Pacific University, Azusa big fans, yeah. University, who I think we're we're coming to a close on their sponsorship. Yeah, this is after, a chapter after five years. It's a good run. Yeah, it's a really good yeah, run. Yeah, it's be our first opening for a, a new. A I new like sponsor. it. I wonder who's going to step in. Well, you you sent a kid to Azusa. Is that right? One of your kids? One of my own. Yeah. 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 And you teach. Don't try to get them back. If they want out. Just trying to woo you no. out there in university. We got a lineup. A lineup. Hey, um, but we are very, very excited about. Here's the way they can sponsor our show. Our kids go to school for free. Ew. <laughs> I'll put, I'll get Gigi. a tattoo. I'll say yeah. it right now. I'll get a tattoo of Azusa Pacific University. On your neck. Uh-uh. Yeah. Not on my neck. No. <laughs> on your right uh, cheek. Okay. No, oh, right cheek. That's I only see it when I'm swimming. It's <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> like a hundred twenty thousand dollar tattoo. I would totally get that tattoo. Yeah, on your neck. Oh, yeah. on your neck. Maybe throw in a master's degree. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> you just give me a master's hey, degree. Uh, one of the Honor. things that we're excited Honor. to talk about is um, Lifebook, and yeah. we've talked about Lifebook before on our web show. And uh, do you know anything about this? I just browsed through. I think it looks great. It does look great. You didn't know about Lifebook, seriously? I seriously did. What kind it's of cool. youth pastor were you? Hey, yeah. <laughs> clearly, oh, clearly oh, a senior uh, pastor. Uh, Insider information you know is former youth pastor, yeah. now oh, a right. church planner, awesome. senior We're pastor. starting a youth ministry, FYI. Well, let me tell you one AKA of the ways to start September, it. September, bro. God will. September. Every time we talk about the Lifebook, I always think there's got to be some catch yeah. to mm-hmm. it. Because Something. What, what they do is they give... Um, they give these out free to youth groups if they will hand them out. It's kind of an evangelism Amazing. effort and yeah. energy, and it is the uh, the book of John in a very clever, laid out, different way. Yeah. And the idea is um, during evangelism kind of yeah. week. Yeah, they're kind of they're almost inventing this new week of intentional evangelism called National Evangelism Week. Clever name. Mm-hmm. Um, and the the key is you know be an evangelist, share the gospel, friendship event, all that, but. Get a tool, and we obviously think the life book is a huge mm-hmm. part of that week, and share Jesus with your friends. And so we're going to saturate our campuses. We're making it a big part of our fall kickoff as well, where everybody gets a book for themselves. Everybody gets a book to give away. It's like share the gospel. That's and okay. kind of concentrated right around that time of the year, too, with See You at the Poll and all that. So National Evangelism Week, See You at the Poll, Life yeah, Book. They're looking at September cool 20th through the 26th yeah. uh-huh. to blanket everything. and. Uh, any youth group can participate, and it is um, you can request from a hundred to twenty five hundred. It's awesome, wow. but free, 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 free. No strings attached. Uh, it's funded by Gideon's yeah. International, mm-hmm. and um, we're we're very excited about it. And it's just for youth pastors. It's just not for youth for, pastors. Yeah, it's not for churches to get them to hand out to the people in the church. No, no, no. It's, it's for, for and, teenagers and meant for and evangelism. They've yeah. given yeah. out. Um, I think I read somewhere, and I should have this in front of me, but I, I don't. Like nineteen million copies. That's yeah, over a, here it is. Over a million students 
have handed out 19 million life books since 2010. So cool. yeah. And I just picked up this quote. Uh, a, a youth group as few as five students in the whole youth group handed out a thousand free life books. Yeah. How cool is that? Yeah. yeah. Those are five. We we that. That'll dominate you guys. You guys yeah. will be, yeah, we, five giving out a thousand. No, you, you've got a thousand so to giving out what? How many are you going to, you better order two 2,500. Yeah. Yeah. 2,500. Yeah. 2,500. And actually, if the folks from Lifebook are, are listening, it's lifebook.com. Here's what I would do. I would give it out free to everybody, but I'd charge Saddleback. <laughs> yeah. That feels right. Yeah. You do have extra budget. Yeah. Oh yeah. We multiple nothing, staff. Nothing but <laughs> multiple That's staff. Awesome. Two full time paid people sitting here's, right here. Um, here's after we purchanced our life books, we actually gave we rubber banded them in little bundles of five with a little challenge card on top, mm -hmm. a little blue like, pray for your friends, think of the friends that you're going to give this to, pray for them, find the right moment, hand them a life book, explain why this the, by the Bible and That's the life so book cool. is important. So it. it was kind of like a friendship evangelism mashup thing that we did. It wasn't yeah. like go hand these out on the street corner. It was pray for your friends yeah. and share the gospel with them. And it really is well designed. It almost feels too good to be true. Yeah, it really does. It's mm -hmm. one of those goofy things where you're like, wait a minute. Yeah, no strings yeah. attached. Here's what we'd like. We'd like for people that are part of the web show to tell us, write in web show at downloadyouthministry.com and tell us how you do it. Okay. And mm -hmm. it's, you know, a few weeks away, but yeah. as people listen That's to this, it's lifebook.com. And uh, tell us your results, because we're really interested. We've talked about these guys many, many times. Absolutely. We're blown away by what and they do. And using our ministry, them. big fans. It works. It matters. It's good stuff. Yeah. It's great, great. National Evangelism Week. I'm excited about that. Good. You don't even have to write into the show. You can just talk about it. I might, I yeah. might do that. Hey, now that uh, we're at the very end of the summer, yeah. and actually in Southern California, we had a squeeze summer, because mm -hmm. um, for most of the country, you get out in early June or late May, we don't get out of school until the end of June, the end of yeah. June. and then they Brutal. go back to school in September. And this is kind of a transition summer where they're shortening the summer mm -hmm. to try to get Southern California caught up with the rest of the, the world. So, yeah. you know, for us, pretty much our, our summer is over. Yeah. You guys had That's a it. great summer? Yeah, we have a so great, summer. Yeah. great summer. Yeah, two weeks of camp back to back at a camp reunion tonight. The camp reunion, yeah. kind of our big end of summer push right here, just so a fun. little farewell. So we're going to share testimonies, play the final highlight video from camp, and just kind of celebrate all the decisions that happened. Yeah. It was a great summer. I'm not going to lie to you. Exhausting. So yeah. I don't know if, I, I mean, I'm legitimately going, am I just getting older? As you yes. 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 Okay. All right, thank you. Yeah, you're getting older. You're eating bad. What are you talking you, about? You went two weeks without working out. I did. Yeah. Did you I did. really? I did. Yeah. did. It's true. He did lose you? weight, though. He had bronchitis week one in summer camp. That's true. The first four days, I was in good shape, and then it all went downhill. Yeah. But... Yeah, no, camp is stressful, and it was it was a lot of work. Two weeks of camp yeah. was a was a bear, and so it just feels good to be on this end of the summer and to look back and go, God really worked. Like lives have changed. It's really, really as exhausting as it is. It is the mm. equally exhilarating. Yeah, yeah. Right. what a great summer. Yeah, yeah my cute. my oldest is um, on a youth ministry staff, and she's at camp this week, and she was in charge of all the all the admin stuff, the sign-ups, the transportation, all that. So you saw the front end of the craziness, like, uh, you know, parents bailing oh, last minute, yeah. parents on oh. their kids, people complaining about their counts, you know, all that kind of stuff, and just all the chaos, and you just go, as bad as it is, once you get there, and mm -hmm. youth ministry yeah. begins mm -hmm. to happen, yeah. you go, yeah. that is just such a catalyst for, all for life change. It is. Yeah, we had three weeks of student leadership conference that Great. we, we, uh, we love. Josh was at two of them. Yep. And um, of course, I was at three. Somebody has to carry the load. Somebody down yeah. carries the, the show, carries yes. the company, <laughs> carries the company, yeah. all of the above. Yeah. That's why <laughs> lifebook.com, charge them. Charge them. Charge them. <laughs> Give them free to everybody need, else. I need 2,500, and I don't need you to charge. No, I think, I think you should be charged. <laughs> uh, if any oh church can pay for it, it's it's this church. They you got know, a studio, That'd all kinds of real all fancy kinds of stuff. An empty room. Yeah. yeah, an empty room with a camera. Hey, McBee, how's uh, Periscope going? Really well. Is it? 16. Yeah, all right. We got comments flying. All right. So, are there somebody hearts? said their 11 year old is watching it and loving it. Oh, oh good. 11 year old. Susie, better, actually. Better clean it up over there. Oh, <laughs> speaking, of, <laughs> speaking of, is that Susie Ralph? Mm -hmm. Susie. What? Susie Wait. writes, here it is. Susie writes, my DYM membership has helped to make things easy on me and my team delivering quality games, sermon series, and training. While I was out on maternity leave, I entered back into the workforce reluctantly, leaving my baby at daycare and living like a zombie for many more months. And um, Susie was writing to basically say thank you for the web show. Right now, 
She's out of youth ministry. She's been demoted to um, be the executive uh, pastor, executive assistant at her church where she's a small group coordinator. She's teaching the spiritual maturity class. Oh, poor thing. Oh, but yeah. Are you okay? It's getting in there. <laughs> she, uh, she passed the torch on to her volunteers awesome. after restructuring the ministry so it can be done by volunteers, which I love that. Anyway, Susie's been a long time DYM uh, listener and uh, went to our student leadership awesome. conference and been been a part of our DYM world, and so we celebrate uh, your demotion. Susie will be missed and or hi. On the show too. <laughs> <laughs> Still watching. Um, and speaking of, you know, too much insider information, you got caught off guard by some insider information, I didn't did. you? Tell I that did. story. What happened? I haven't even told you. I was at summer camp, and our regional campuses join us at summer camp, so we don't know all of their volunteers, obviously, because we are spread all over Southern California. And so one of them just came up to me really excitedly and said, I'm a rewinder. <laughs> and I thought it was like someone who like did a new dance move, like the whip or the nene. I was like, that's so great. You rewind. <laughs> and is then that? she went, you know, the podcast. And I was like, the podcast. Yes. Hello. How are you? <laughs> that's great. See, because I've said for oh, years, Jason, it. When we meet you out somewhere like at a conference or a speaking yes. event, yep. don't start with tell me about your youth group. Just come up and say, I'm a I'm a podcast. Yeah. And then we hug and we Yeah, that's there's it. a connection. Yeah. There is. That's yeah. family. Yeah. That's the reason we've been doing this for six years. Uh -huh. Start there. Start and there. And people we still don't always start there. Because <laughs> then when they just start talking, I think, okay, this is one of a million youth workers over the years who's going to tell me about the youth group, and I'm going to nod and go, oh, great, 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 great. But then you tell me that you're a web show or podcast person. Oh, we're friends. The fans. We, part we, of the we family. Actually, it's family. We actually it's kiss. Family. Yeah, lead with that. Family. It helps us. <laughs> what? I missed his. No, I think no, it was a godfather impression, or maybe he was. Kiss. We actually kiss. Clearly, yeah. so. no, on the cheek. <laughs> greet, greet, greet one another. Right. Holy it's kiss. Biblical. It's biblical. It's biblical. Um, please don't read my name. After an no, awesome no. week, <laughs> Sorry about that, John. after an no, awesome no, week no, on our no, high school no, no, mission no. trip, I received an email to meet with our senior pastor. In that meeting, I'm told that the elders decided that they're going to be uh, looking for a new oh. youth minister. Ouch. This isn't from Susie either. Um, they didn't give our pastor any reasons, so he didn't have any for me. Brutal. At, right after camp, I'm not believing that, but that's okay. I'm old and cynical, Jason. That the elders didn't give the pastor any reasons. And the pastor just accepted it. He said he wanted to tell me before they did because he wanted me to have options to get out ahead of this. He told me my best option was to call a meeting myself with the elders and tell them that I'm moving on, a preemptive blow, I guess. That way, according to his logic, I would have bargaining power to negotiate the time frame and severance I would receive. But to say that I have decided to leave and to let it be, that's what's communicated to the church body, would be deceitful in my opinion. And it lets the elders off the hook for a decision they've made, not me. I'm hurt and discouraged, to put it mildly. Outside of this, uh, outside of how this will affect my family, I'm very concerned for our youth group. I'd appreciate any advice you have on how to proceed. Nice. This is just a couple days ago, so it's very, very That's fresh. Rough. This ain't easy. Uh, yeah, I don't believe the story, but... The story that the pastor is giving, yeah. he doesn't know. Yeah, because think you're a senior pastor, and the elders say we want to get rid of the youth guy, and you go, okay, all right, I'll let him know. Yeah, I'll, uh, you know, okay, and then, <laughs> you know, then to go to the youth guy and go, hey, here's what I do is I go ahead and resign, and it just seems like yeah. a weak unless the senior pastor has no sense of true confrontation and just wants to like let the guy off the hook. Yeah. Maybe, right? maybe, which is yeah. Either, but I'm either way, it's dysfunctional leadership mm -hmm. if not half truth. At yeah, some point. yeah. Well, I can tell you what I would do. I'm not sure of the advice I would give. I would, uh, I would save face. I would resign. If it's inevitable, I would not want to go through the discomfort of being fired, the embarrassment of being fired. And so I would take whatever spin is necessary. I'm not saying this is the right answer. I'm just keeping it real. I would say, okay, God, you're up to something. I don't like this. I'm not, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to control the story. Mm -hmm. And I would move out quietly and trust God's going to take that church where he's going to take it. And I would go. Yeah. But maybe that's dysfunctional leadership, <laughs> too. I, I, see, I, I connected with the part where he said if I did that, it would be deceitful. Like, 
Yeah. But don't you think every departure is a little bit deceiving? Of course. There's no. I mean, it's it's brutal. It, but the thing I don't is, know about every departure, most. The, the ugly ones, sure. Right. Well, I don't. I don't know if it's every. I think there are yeah. parts of certain departures that where the true all of the story. There are parts that are concealed out of respect for certain people mm-hmm. to protect certain people to not that. put them out in a position where the worst side of them would be displayed for the whole mm-hmm. church to see. I don't yeah. know. The deceitful part is bothering. Like just that part of. I kind of feel like this pastor, his senior pastor, isn't leading him yeah, biblically. Like, yeah. sure, you protect those of us that are in your flock, and this pastor is not protecting him. He's saying, "Fend for yourself, flee. You figure it out." Well, you, you fight for your people. Yeah, you fight for your people, and if but they may be. I mean, we've been in situations before where you're going, "Okay, it's this honest." If I'm being honest, mm-hmm. this person isn't worth fighting for anymore. And so what I need to do, and then instead of blaming it on the elders, right. is I need to say, look, dude, we've had many conversations. It's yeah. time. Yeah. It's time. I that think, would be the best way. Yeah. I think sure. it's just not a fit here, and we need, you know. And here's yeah. my suggestion: is my suggestion is we can do it one of two ways. You mm-hmm. can right. resign. We can talk severance. We can, right. you mm-hmm. know. But it, it's just trying to make it easy. We do that in the church. We. A I just lot. think we we're so wimpy when it comes to yeah. truth telling. It's true. So, I feel I feel like if if um. Maybe I'm resonating with this. I, I just know people in different churches yeah. that have been let go the wrong way or, yeah, sure. been, yeah. or that they're this big cover-up and the church totally mistreated like some youth pastor out there yeah. and no honor, no like care mm-hmm. for him or his family or whatever. And so that's when I resonated with the whole deceitful part of me. And part of me is like, am I seriously supposed to like, that's hard for me personally. Yeah. So you say, trust God, let him be the righteous judge. But then on the other hand, you're just like, this is miserable and like should they really look that clean and me look like such a bad guy when they're handling it this way that's hard but but I, sometimes, I, sometimes a, I fight that even as a leader yeah. don't you want to know the truth yeah because yeah. mm-hmm. let's say okay your time may be over here and it sounds like it is but you want to take the truth to the next mm-hmm. location right and go yeah. you know help me to learn as a leader i mean mm-hmm. I, we all have blinders we all are a bundle of strengths and weaknesses mm-hmm. learn what it is that wasn't valued by you if you yeah. can end it in a clean equitable way sure. mm-hmm. great let's let's do so but <laughs> at least have that conversation with yeah. the elders first yeah. and then say can you know can we okay great i see there's no future here let's let's say can we stack hands to end it like this go in with a couple options but to you know to tell your kids your youth group that you're resigning that's not true mm-hmm. you know that's mm-hmm. not yeah, true yeah. so Hey, um, we don't do this very often, but why don't we pause and why don't you pray for this guy? I like yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, Father, thank you uh, for this man and um, Lord, whoever he is, wherever he's at. I just pray, the Lord, your grace upon him right now and that you would just comfort him in a way that only you can. And so, Lord, we trust you with this and just uh, look to the only one that has all the answers. And uh, Lord, I pray that justice will be done, whether it be here on this earth or in your timing, God. We thank you and it's well, and to whoever this person is, you're yeah. you're definitely not alone. We know that a lot. We hear, you know, we hear well, some. The worst problems. part of the story is coming back from camp, great summer ministry, and then bam, yeah, get uh, hit, blindsided. Yeah, yeah. Like, I would hope that the senior pastor is like, "We're going out to lunch. Let's celebrate what God did." And you're maybe thinking that, or you're worried, and then to get hit. Yeah, that's a yeah, no, that's the worst. Right. Well, we hear, I mean, we hear some terrible, terrible stories so, right. in here, and have for years. Um, but we'll transition to a really good story. All right. And uh, this is from Joshua Morgan. I actually met Joshua uh, at one of our student leadership conferences, and he was telling me the story, and I said, you have to send that in. You have to send it into the web show. And again, if you have questions or comments, whatever, web show at downloadyouthministry.com. Uh, Josh Morgan, I'm a DYM member and a youth pastor in Sydney, Ohio, and I've been there 11 years. He was at our student leadership conference in Granger, Indiana. Uh, we took our students to SLC at Granger. It was an amazing experience, and we're already seeing the benefit. We will definitely be returning. Love to hear that. Yeah. I'm writing simply to brag about my senior pastor, Chad Wilson. Here we go. All right. Yeah. This is a good transition. Oh, cool. He's awesome. We have a great friendship. I'm 33, and he's 39, so uh, hearing Tommy Boy and Dumb and Dumber quotes is a daily thing here. <laughs> We go to lunch regularly, and we just chat about life. There have been times that he sat in my office, and we've talked, laughed, prayed, cried together. He's constantly encouraging me. 
He's given me the gifts, just thanking me for being here. One time he gave me a case pocket knife. Case is capitalized, so that must be a brand. Is that a thing? It's a, I don't know. It's a hot knife. Who's the closest to a fisherman here? Uh, I'm Jessica? No. <laughs> no. No, inner city LA is not. No, I no. like the spa, air conditioning, <laughs> yeah, okay. indoor activities. Mm, yeah, I got nothing. It's not All my right. thing. So he gave him Wait, case you got a case pocket knife. Okay, keep going. Oh, a yeah. case <laughs> knife. Oh, I, I thought you said face. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah, it's incredible. What a well, great and here's oh. what the pastor said. This is the best pocket knife you can get, and there I go. feel okay. the same about you. What? Come on. This is a feel good story of the week. We Come just on. went from worst to first right here. Terrible. So he said, This is the best pocket knife. Knife you can get, and I feel the same about you. You're the best. Wow. What? Come so on. Cool. Is there a But the greatest, <laughs> the greatest compliment he's ever given me is when we were at staff retreat, and he told me, "Remember when I came into your office and someone needed, and needed someone to talk to? Thank you for those days when you are my pastor." Holy smoke! If you have a senior pastor who is a great leader and encouragement to your ministry, let them know it. Squash all negative talk about them that comes your way, and be their biggest cheerleader which is wow. what we say all the time oh, great it's incredible great that story great to hear story. should we put that on the blog we totally yes. should the whole thing honestly okay. great that is so honoring that is so cool he needs to forward this to his pastor how did our um yeah yeah we're showing the video show clip, clip of just the blog yeah, post yeah seriously um how did how did periscope our live show react to that mcbee did they Lots of lots of good things. Lots questions, of hearts. Questions coming in, but I honestly don't know how to use Periscope. Periscope, so I can't find <laughs> periscope. the questions. No, they're gone. They only show up, and then the Periscope questions that's, are gone. Periscope. That's giving me anxiety. <laughs> Sorry, John, for not answering. Have that. John okay. type it in again, and then just interrupt whatever we're doing with the question. Okay. Okay. Okay, so, John, so, you heard me. So let me Do ask it. this: How in 274 shows, how many emails have you seen? What percentage yeah, of the emails like, like, that? like that? One. One percent. Wow. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Awesome. I got it. How do you protect your students from church politics? Write it down. Answer later. <laughs> <laughs> and who the, who the live question John, come in from? John. John Batch. John. John Batch. Batch. We know John Batch. Yeah, John How do you protect your kids from church politics? You don't talk to him about it. Yeah. Yeah. No way. Yeah. I don't know if that's kids meaning his own children or the ones in the youth group. Mm, but YouTube, yeah. either way, you know, you every 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 church is filled with goofy yeah. people. Yeah. Goofy people. I spoke at a at Mariners this weekend. Lots and lots and lots of people. Yeah. When I'm done speaking, this lady comes up to me and goes, um, you know, if you if you want a trick, you can put preparation H under your eyes oh. so you you don't look so tired. Oh my god. <laughs> How great is that? That's amazing. Wow. Yeah. Did I you wanna... tell her the UFC fight was worth staying up for and to shut her mouth? <laughs> no, I, I wanted to go UFC on her, and then, and then okay. put preparation H on her, and, and not on her just face. Just leave it there, just leave it there, bro. Yeah. 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 That so, is amazing. Anyway. No, I would say, well, let's tweak the question just a little bit, too. What about spouses? How do you protect your, do you protect your spouse from church politics? My wife is a sounding board for me. Every single day I walk in the door, she's like, tell me how, and she just loves hearing about mm -hmm. the youth ministry and my wife, everything that's happening in the church. I protect her from some stuff. Yeah. Like, I don't let her in on every weird nuance and that, that felt weird and this son of this guy is, this is a, I protect her from a lot of it. Just because I know she's going to see him at church and bump into that family yeah. or see yeah. that person, I don't necessarily, sometimes I let her in on it because it's really important to me or grating mm -hmm. to me. But I protect her from a lot, yeah. too. Right. Yeah, it's wise. Same. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, Doug a Akins, he writes right. um, a couple questions, but kind of an off-the-wall question. We'll start with that one. He says it's off-the-wall. Um, why have you decided not to put up audio video of your services on your website for your students? Is it because you really want the services to be in the moment experience or because students would never go back and listen to a service anyway? Just curious your thought process behind it. Yeah, that's a good question. We just talked about this. We did, and we're talking about putting them up. We're talking about streaming them live. We're talking about doing a little more of the Periscope type of stuff in mm -hmm. today's world. I mean, part of it is I don't want students to only experience our youth ministry through a screen. There's something special about being in community, laughing, elbowing somebody, meeting new friends. Like, I do want church to be a physical, social exercise. Um, but at the same time, students are gone on vacation, traveling somewhere, whatever. I'd love for them to have access to 
week two of a series that they're going to miss that's yeah. kind of a hinge moment in the middle yeah. of the series. So <laughs> I get it. I mean, part of it is, too, I just enjoy sharing our resources with everybody that we can, too, through Download Youth Ministry and the website. So I like doing that, too. So, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm so hearing just you know. so many people who stay home and watch, yeah. you know, watch it on TV. We, we do it sometimes as a family, even. Yeah, we're just. I mean, I'm not talking about youth ministry, but just yeah, the yeah. church, church, church yeah. of like itself. Like they are itself. driving distance away from the yeah. church that they're watching online. Yeah, we're we're making it. You know, yeah. and there's something about community. It's a tough. It's a maybe. It's, it's inevitable. Maybe I it's don't think kids honestly would would really do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that much. I think you'd get you know, especially at Saddleback, you'd get more looky loo youth workers and totally. maybe a yeah. you know parent well, here or there or something like that. junior high ministry just started putting all of their talks online in full, which is only like 15 minutes. So, so like the week after their message, they'll post The week after their message will be on YouTube. And or a parent meeting they'll post. Yeah, they just post at the camp parent meeting. Even then, very, very few students will at, will go and watch that. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's in the in a very large junior high ministry, it's eight people are watching those videos. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's a lot of work. I don't know. I like it. We're, we're figuring it out, I guess, is yeah. maybe an answer that I would say. Uh, I do like doing some Periscope stuff. There were some students text me going, I couldn't go to camp. What's happening at camp right now? And I'm like, I'll Periscope a game that we're doing, or here's a here's part of the talk. And that's kind of fun, letting people have a little live look in. Yeah. But I don't know if I want to live stream or just ministry. Periscoping this very popular web show. Sure are. <laughs> 17 people agree with that. <laughs> 16 at one point. Eight. 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 It has eight. dropped down. Eight. Eight. Uh, it's dropped down. Well, in all fairness. Let's go bring them down. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> You know, we just care about people. We don't care about anything. No. So let's just. <laughs> well, really, I mean, the Periscope thing, because we did a student leadership conference, just like yeah. we were driving in the car with Doug Franklin from Leader Tracks, and we we did it. And you got to be like on, you got to be on Twitter, to be able to get it because yes. it's like once you're ready it's to fast. go, it's bam, it's there. Yeah, and it only lives for 24 hours, and Periscope deletes the file. So if you don't watch this live show live or within 24 hours, it doesn't it's exist. Over. So it's an adult version of Snapchat. A little there bit. There you yeah. go. Just a little bit longer. It's yeah, a little I'm longer. pretty sure Snapchat's pretty adult version yeah. already, too. <laughs> 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 no. Speaking of wow. adult version, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Here we go. Good this question. is from Tim Bentley, First Baptist Church, Childress, Please don't use my Texas. This was um, this was a guy who um, you know our DYM members we send out a mid month and we always have a contest to those who are members and so this one was a church van story so your worst church van no story best. and the winner gets this isn't we oh, haven't chosen man. this as the winner it was just it, was, just a, it was a good one it's, it was fun to read and yeah. you're, it, it's a good transition to your adult Snapchat <laughs> one of my first trips with my current youth group seven years ago we're heading to a fall retreat and because of our numbers we had to take all of our vans, even the one that didn't run very well. A little over an hour into the trip, our old blue van catches fire, and the driver was forced to pull over. We're in the middle of nowhere in the Texas Panhandle, and the only place to pull over where the fire began was a triple X. No. (laughs) Adult bookstore. Yeah, XXX store. Oh. Uh, So there we were, five First Baptist Church vans with 60 students parked at the (laughs) adult store. We had to leave the van in the parking lot, and our pastor quickly got a toad. I can only imagine what people thought as they drove by and saw the van parked there. (laughs) That is a great story. There's a missions trip right there. Mission field, everybody get out of the van. The best part is that the greatest concern was it that a vehicle caught on fire. (laughs) (laughs) What if they see us in this parking lot? I love it. We're not legalistic. They were handing out life books. Um, This is from the hardest working guy in youth ministry. Sorry, Josh. His name is Joel Friend. (laughs) Just going to say, I didn't write in, but go ahead. (laughs) Um, Hey, team, I want to ask you about how to create a space that can cater to all types of students. Generally, when students show up, the first thing we have is hang time. The boys play football or something involving a round object, and the girls stand around and talk. We don't have a ton of room to utilize, but we want to create space for all students to feel like they're connecting. We do have certain boys who aren't athletically inclined, so they often try to stand off to the side. I encourage them to engage as best I can. I wish I had another outlet for them to connect with. 
I've learned that the first 10, maybe five minutes of students showing up is so crucial in how the rest of the night will feel to a student. Any suggestions for creating common space for students to connect and or different areas that we can set up for every student to feel a part of the night, especially when they first show up? Cool. I love it. Great question. That, can I say? Yeah. Um, yeah, so, so uh, what I always thought, and I always battled this in my 20 years of youth ministry, like you, you, you always get to that danger, just that borderline of like, am I just trying to entertain or babysit mm -hmm. versus what is the ultimate objective of my night? So we would always plan those first 15 minutes for youth ministry that was like, okay, let's make sure we're intentional before we, 15 minutes mm -hmm. before we start the program, we want the people to connect. And so I would really pour everything I could into leadership training and training people, whether he has a small group system or not, um, uh, to just have le student leaders or leaders um, of small groups go out and just be with kids and connect them. You could have stuff in the background playing, videos, cool music videos, cool, like you can get all kinds of stuff uh, with that good, even Christian band videos or something that, that would be uh, fun background stuff. And then, and then while that's going on, just have people going around and train them to go deeper than, did you see the new superhero movie that came out this last weekend? We, we talked about that constantly, like that was, that was, you don't just want them to connect for the sake of mm -hmm. saying, did you see the new movie? Yeah. Or, or uh, you know, nice shoes, but like to go a little deeper and say like, How, how's your life? What's the greatest thing that happened this week? How can I pray for you? Stopping and praying for them. And mm -hmm. um, yeah, I just think that's like, cool. that was always our number one objective. Like, how do we connect on a deeper level and not just to do a checkbox? or to entertain them or babysit them, right? So my answers are all kind of entertaining and babysitting. <laughs> oh, good, <laughs> JG. I'm not gonna really say anything else right now. That's okay. Um, I would say <laughs> video games would be awesome. Like, you know, like the boy who's in the corner who's not into athletics, he might be into video games, that'd be fun. Uh, I know that myself as a kid, I'd be right there sitting on the couch having a great time. Um, not athletic? Not athletic, yeah, that's where I'd be. I'd just be playing video. Um, I also think it was fun at camp this week. We just, the card game, it was like resurgence of card games this year for some reason. And I thought that'd be fun to just have some like simple games and there's nothing better than you walk in and you're like, this is awkward, I don't know what to do. And someone's like, dude, get over here, we're playing spoons or Uno or whatever it is, you know? Texas Hold'em. Spin the, the bottle. Spin sure. the bottle, yeah. But, <laughs> but like, but like, I don't know why that's funny. You have to explain that to me. Spin the bottle? There's no this way. Is this is no this way. This is no way. I got all of you. I I wasn't like, huh. I was like, oh, man, we're like, periscoping Doug this. Full I don't know. <laughs> Doug is full of it. No. But, but, but you know, I got these guys. Yeah, 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 yeah you yeah. did. Yeah. But I would, I would say just some fun, simple, low bar entry level. Hey, come join this yeah. game. Grab a controller. You know, whatever it is. Like simple, basic stuff. My, my mind also went to environment, and one of the things that we've talked about and had for a long time is a photo wall. So even if you're just killing time, you're like, you got three minutes till this thing starts. You walk in, there's at least pictures to do, some fun stuff happening, good energy in the room as well could be really great. And that photo wall is the equivalent to a styrofoam cup for an adult. You know, you, yeah. you give totally. a styrofoam, what does a, yeah. an adult do? They walk to the coffee table, mm -hmm. they hide behind a cup. Well, you don't have that for kids. Like they have something to look at in the right, wall. They right. can turn their back so they don't feel like everybody's staring at me. Um, mm -hmm. You know, what's that yeah. the game that one of our old volunteers made where you're just pushing the ball across that oh. sand? Plinko. <laughs> John, John, John. It's kind of, yeah, kind of like a shuffleboard type of thing. Yeah, yeah I mean, something yeah. that's not necessarily going to require you to go run around and be athletic, totally. but you could do something right there, engaging in conversation. You yeah, know, cornhole, if you have like a little oh. outdoor area, yeah. that's cool, which is the poorest name ever, but cornhole or uh, can jam, stuff like that. Yeah. Ladder ball. In our junior yeah. high ministry, um, nine square in the air oh, is like a thing. It My son's thing. no one's gonna know what that means. Well, they can Google it. It's worth googling. It's really it's cool. cool. It's phenomenal. It's like four square, but it's nine and it's in the air. Yeah, I've yeah. seen it. It's amazing. It's cool. I, ju I just learned last week when I spoke. Yeah, yeah. there you go. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, it was yeah. up at Camp Fondo, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's awesome. It's yeah. really love that game. Uh, line, line is so. Long. Okay, let's do this. We got to wrap this show up okay. because we have a new shorter show these days. Cool. And yeah. we're gonna um, the best. Um, Leader Treks is one of our sponsors, and we actually brought their books to hold up because um, 
Angie Franklin, the owner of Leader Tracks, apparently likes it better when we hold up the book. So Angie, this is for you. Look at this. Um, Look at how we many love, we're holding. Let's all, let's all hold, 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 hold Leader Tracks. Oh, this one's called Beyond the Trip from the Missions Trip to a Life on Mission, a four week follow up journal. Thank you, Angie from Leader Tracks. Yeah, let's see all, if I can do it. All better. for Angie. This is Learning from the Master, 40 Days with Jesus. <laughs> the way, the truth, the life, Leader Tracks. That you know what? That would make great. me go right to YM360. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and YM360. You, you just took sales away from yeah, Leader Tracks. Dude, it was amazing. Hey, but here's the deal about YM360, <laughs> you know? one of our other sponsors. They've just started an event division. Do you even know this, Josh? No, I, I don't. don't YM360 know. event. Groundbreaking news. They're doing Discipleship Now weekends, winter retreats, summer camps, back-to-school events. Awesome. Um, so where they have been an incredible provider of curriculum and will still have that, they're now starting um, to, to do events. Mm -hmm. And YM360.com. They are the best. We, we wish they would play with us more and move from dumb Alabama <laughs> to um, exciting <laughs> Southern California. I agree. Sorry, yeah, really sorry dumb Alabama. Not dumb Alabama. Yes, that's pretty strange. You said oh, they're kind of like dumb. There's a lot of well, we just that. we just like hanging with those guys. <laughs> they're buddies, and they're and we don't see them very often. But um, and APU, let's get that um, let's get that tattoo on Josh. Let's so, do it. Anyway, send your connection. questions in to web show at download youth ministry yeah, yeah. Dot com. This is episode number two seventy four. We're out, and we are out. Order your life books now.